Yes. <gasps> Do you guys know what season it is? It's Coachella season, baby. <laughs> It's Sunday, April 7th, and I have five days until I leave for Coachella. And yeah, there's a lot to do. This shit is a big fucking deal to me. I don't know why. I'm kind of embarrassed about how much I care about it, but at least I'm like self-aware and I know that it's stupid that I care this much about it. So it's like fine, right? I don't know. All I've really done thus far to prepare is pick out outfits, which I have been doing for the past few months. And I have spreadsheets and PowerPoints for each outfit. And I have a whole section of my closet dedicated to my Coachella. Oh. I think this is like a coping mechanism for me. It's something to look forward to and it's a fun activity. I mean, you can say what you want about it, but at least I'm having a good time. The final days of prep start today. Five days left. The prep for Coachella is so intense. Very similar to preparing for like a pageant or like a fashion show. Like that's what it is. Coachella prep starts now. I can't believe it came around this quick. I remember when it was last year's Coachella and now it's like this year's and this shit's crazy. This shit goes crazy and stupid. Go crazy, ah, go stupid, ah, you know? Let's just fucking get started. First and most important step of Coachella prep is tanning. Every outfit looks good with a tan, and that's the fucking end of story. I hate who the fuck? The only problem is, is that I hate tanning. It's one of my least favorite activities that exists, and so I'll probably end up just getting a spray tan. I always try to tan. Do I succeed? Never. I've never like gotten a good tan, but I can try. I'm very uncomfortable right now. Another thing I do though, that speeds up the tanning process so I don't have to be at side as long is put olive oil on my body. Is that unhealthy? Probably. Nobody's told me that it's bad, but then again, nobody's told me that it's good. Don't try this at home because I don't want to go to jail. Oh God, oh my God. Olive oil's a mess. Supposedly being in the sun a few minutes per day helps with acne, which we all know is a reoccurring issue for me. Oh my God, my literal boobs are falling out. This video is gonna not get monetized. Oh my God, I literally have a pool of olive oil in my belly button, so that's worrisome. Ugh, this is so boring. But I know it's gonna be worth it. Like if I had a killer tan at Coachella, I mean, Anyway, that, the way I just said that made me upset. I'm so bored. Ugh. I definitely just don't like the feeling of being oily. And right now, like, I'm really fucking oily. And, wow, I really wish I had music to listen to right now. I don't have a speaker. Only cool kids have speakers. I've never owned, an, like, a speaker. You know what? That's on my bucket list, is getting a portable speaker so that I can be that kid that walks around the party. I don't really go to parties, but it walks around the party with a portable speaker and just makes everyone's day improve because they're playing Mo Bamba on the speaker and everyone just goes freaking wild. I want that to be me. I always try to take a nap in the sun, but it never works. Maybe I'll try for a second right now. Okay, that didn't last very long. Oh yeah! Okay, so let me tell you something. A big struggle that I think everyone has when they're planning their Coachella outfits is that they want to have a unique outfit. They want to stand out, they want to be different, they want to have something that nobody else has, and that's really hard to do when you're buying stuff from stores because anyone can buy it. So, I had the idea that this year I would <laughs> DIY a few things. I don't know how I came up with this idea, but all I have to say is that I love it. For one outfit, I want to paint on jean shorts and an old pair of Air Force Ones because they felt like that would be really epic. And I think it would really set me apart because the thing is, is that no one else is gonna have this. That makes me hashtag special. Why is my apartment so hot? Are you sweaty? I've been telling you for three days your apartment's so hot. What are we gonna do about it? Leave me alone. I'm gonna be painting using white paint and lime green paint because the top that I'm wearing is lime green. But I'm not gonna show you the full outfit because I'm posting this video before I go to Coachella and I don't wanna spoil my full outfit. I have no idea what direction I'm going with this. What do I paint first? The pants, the shoes, the pants, the sh pants, wait a minute, what the fuck? The shoes, the pants, I don't fucking know. Let's talk about Coachella outfits. Last year, my outfits were, you know what? I'm not gonna be mean to myself because I did my best. I just didn't really hit the mark. At the time, it was good, but now looking back, I'm just like, well, that was something to be embarrassed of. But this year, I'm trying to redeem myself. Amanda's actually over there, literally custom making a hat. How's your custom hat going? It's gonna feel so personal. Like when I walk around to Coachella wearing this shit, I'm gonna be like, I fucking made it. Made all of it. I sewed the shoes myself. 
I will tell them that. It's not true, but I will tell them that. You know, sometimes you need to white lie every once in a while. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of lying. Lying is super good. Wow! So far, so fucking good, bitch. This is kind of boring, though. Like, it's funny, because my dad's an artist, and, like, I should enjoy this type of stuff. But to be quite honest, like, I'm already bored, and it's been about seven minutes. Can you believe how much effort we put in to three days? I just can't believe that I do that. Dude, I was blonde last year at Coachella. Can we talk about that? Who was she? Scared of her. Did you ever know Blonde Emma? No. Good. Now that I'm thinking about it, like if I DIY'd more clothes, I'd really step up my game in life. Lime green stripe is done on both shoes. Let's do a little montage. You like this? I know it's hot, that's why I did it. Okay, this is already kind of looking scary. Okay guys, first little section is done. So do you know what? Oh wait, I just touched wet paint. I'm gonna work on all of this. I'll check in with you when I'm done. And we'll see how it went. DIY session. It's been like three hours and I'm done. But it'll be worth it when I show up looking like a bad bitch, right? I don't want to reveal too much because no one's seen this yet and the whole point is that it's supposed to be a surprise. So, these are the shoes, that's all you get to see. Thank you. Let me tell you the short. Boom. That's it. Amanda's over here rhinestoning her hat. I'll just give a little sneak peek. This is Amanda's hat. She's rhinestoning, how do you feel? She's literally been rhinestoning this hat for three hours. <laughs> are you okay? I'm not even close. You know me, once I start something, I'm not finishing. Or wait. <laughs> <laughs> so what if I went to bed and just made you continue doing this? I would hurt you physically. It's Monday. Happy Coachella Monday. Hate that. Happy Monday before Coachella. Wow! This week, I'm focusing a lot on my health. Coachella is something where you want to be feeling your absolute best at, physically, mentally, because it's an exhausting ordeal. It takes a lot out of your body, mind, and soul. So I'm trying to eat healthy this week, which hasn't really worked. We're going to Soul Cycle right now. Exercising and eating well is a really big part of preparing for Coachella so that you have the best immune system possible. I got sick last year, and I don't want to do that again. Also because I want to look swole as fuck. Whoops, I said it. This camera angle's a mess, but I just like can't fix it because it's like it's too early in the morning. I act like going to Soul Cycle has something to do with preparing for Coachella, but really like just doesn't. And I just was going, and I thought I'd film it. So. I did grow up. I mean, actually, in my mouth. <laughs> what I've been doing for the past few hours because I just feel like it's really, it's not really interesting, but it's like, it's really telling of how Coachella is for me. To make a long fucking story short, I've been shopping for the past two hours. I actually meant to say five hours. At that point, I had been shopping for five hours. Okay. Today has been the type of day where I'm just searching and not finding what I need. So basically, let me explain. I had all my outfits planned for all three days, fully planned, had every single thing that I needed. Everything was great. A few days ago, I decided that I hated my day one outfit and I wanted to completely throw it in the trash. It was just like not working out. So yesterday, I went shopping and I bought new pants. I'll insert a picture here. I've been trying to find a pink top that would match these pants for literally the past 24 hours. And I've just been struggling. I searched online last night for literally three three hours, nothing. Then today, I went all around Melrose, which is a popular street to shop on in LA, looked in all the stores, found nothing. And then my mom was like, why don't you go on Hollywood Boulevard and go into costume stores and see if you can find a top? Nothing. Not one thing that remotely was good. I'm being stared at for vlogging, so I'm gonna drive away now. Why are these people being creepy? Yeah. surprised this is happening again nobody's surprised that I'm here nobody even cares or is surprised 
Also, I am filming on my phone because I forgot my vlog camera at home because this morning is always was hectic. I had diarrhea and I had a lot of scary dreams last night, so I couldn't remember to grab my camera on the way out. But I'm using my phone, and you wouldn't even know the difference. But now that I said it, now you know that there's a difference because I said it. But if I wouldn't have said nothing, you wouldn't have noticed nothing. Also, um, yeah, so I'm go going to Coachella. <laughs> leave in two days to be quite fucking honest i'm not ready i did soul cycle this morning and then i had some meetings <laughs> meetings and now i'm going to a nail appointment this shit's like stupid you know what i mean like i'm like stressing out about like having to get my fucking nails done that's such like an easy thing to accomplish like i don't have to do anything i'm getting my nails done i'm not doing anything they're just doing my nails for me but for some reason it still stresses me out today i have to get my nails done get a facial because bitch has acne and bitch is me i'm trying to get that fucking fixed um and then i have to start packing Will I get it all done? Who knows? But for right now, let's take it one step at a time, okay? One step at a time. Okay, I have no idea what color I'm getting my nails done. I wanted to do glitter, but it's just a lot on my plate right now. <laughs> I have a lot to do. I love you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just kidding, the video's not over. <laughs> fucking idiot fell for that. Oh my god, my literal fucking tripod just broke. This whole piece just fell off my fucking tripod. Is it gonna fix? Wait, let me see if I can fix it. Oh wait, I fixed it, so maybe it wasn't broken. Okay, I'm just stupid. Time to get glam. Oh, I can't believe you just said that. I did. My nails are done. I actually am fucking obsessed with them. But it was not that easy getting these hoes done, okay? Let me tell you. I went with Amanda. We both got our nails done. We showed up on time at 4 p.m. and we started getting our nails done. All of a sudden, the lady who was doing my nails asks me to get up and then another guy sits in my place and she starts doing someone else's nails and I'm just like sitting in the waiting area like what the fuck am I supposed to be doing right now? I'm sitting there and I'm just waiting for someone else to start my nails or something and an hour goes by and no one's doing my nails. And like, I showed up right on time. So like, I don't get it. I was so confused. I was upset. I don't want to talk about it to be quite honest because it was very upsetting for me it was so upsetting for me that i wrote a yelp review about it long story short i wait an hour they finally finished the person that replaced me and then now i have these i also got really hungry while i was in there so i postmated myself sushi so i'm gonna eat that wait why is this sushi like this it's not cut it's weird okay I just don't understand why they didn't cut it. Have you literally ever seen a sushi roll like this? It's like, did they want me to cut it? Like, I don't get it. Who else loves wasabi besides me? Am I the only one? Too much wasabi. <sighs> Straight up crying, fuck. I love sushi. Too much wasabi again. My facial is literally in like 45 minutes and I'm just eating instead of driving there, huh? What's up? Emma, the hottest guy I have ever seen in my entire life was just at the red light next to me, looked at me, and smiled and waved, and then the light turned green. No. He was so hot. I hope he's at Coachella. Oh my God. It really doesn't end today now, does it? I've not been relaxed for one second today. I've just been fucking running around all day. Honestly, my mom is the one who's like, Emma, you need to get a facial before Coachella. I'm not just getting any facial though. I'm getting a back knee and face facial so that my back knee can disappear mysteriously. I would love that. My back knee is an issue and I'm wearing tops that show my back. So I wanna, you know, look okay. I doubt that doing a facial is gonna like heal it, but I mean, it could help the irritation so that it's less obvious that I have raging back knee. Just when you thought today I couldn't get any more fucking crazy, we're packing now. I have almost everything I need. You might be wondering why I'm packing so far in advance, and that's simply because I am insane. I'm a very paranoid person, and once I have everything in my suitcase, I think I will maybe be able to relax. If you wanna know how psychotic I am, let me just tell you, and I did this last year too. I put all of my outfits in bags. 
I know I'm crazy, but that's why I'm fun. So whatever. I normally don't really think about what I pack for trips. Like I just kind of throw random shit in a suitcase and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Coachella is a different story. I make sure that everything that I put into my suitcase is like epic. I'm literally bringing 17 pairs of shoes. Is that overkill? Absolutely. I'm literally bringing two pairs of Doc Martens that are basically identical, but just in case, I'm bringing both. So now that I have all of my outfits packed for all three days, I have to put in my glitter. Because glitter is a very important part of Coachella. If you aren't glistening, then you're not even there. I'm starting to run out of room and it's been like five seconds. Oh, I have some breast petals just in case. You know, I want to avoid nip slips, right? Don't want to have any of that. And here I have everything I would literally ever need. I have sunscreen, fake tanner, deodorant, tampons, razor, dry shampoo, shampoo and conditioner, toothbrush and toothpaste. All the people that say that I don't shower and that I don't brush my teeth, well, what do you think's in this fucking bag, you fucking idiot? Fuck you. Things are actually kind of coming together and I'm like feeling really good about it. Wow, I'm actually making like insane progress very quickly and I'm getting nervous. Wait, I might even have extra room in my suitcase. Wait, what the fuck? Is that right? Okay, I must be missing stuff then. If I have extra room in my suitcase, I'm definitely missing something. What could I be forgetting? Coachella prep is going amazing. What the fuck is that sound? It's tan time. Time to get tan. I don't know if my camera's gonna fall or not. Oh my god. I'm literally gonna break it one day and it's like not gonna be funny. My spray tan looks nice. <laughs> wow. I love having a spray tan. There really isn't anything better, is there? They look scary. Okay, but obviously we haven't showered yet. It's been fucking 20 minutes since we left the place. So in eight hours, we're allowed to shower, but for the next eight hours, we're gonna look like... I'm not showering till tomorrow. Same. <laughs> I'm not showering ever again. Because I don't, Emma Shamblin doesn't shower, right? <laughs> no, bro, I've never seen you turn on your shower. I think both of us need to take an hour long nap. I can sense that we're tired. I mean, I feel pretty good. <laughs> you don't look good. No, I'm good. <laughs> we need to get some last minute shit. I need like sunscreen, bobby pins. Let's get it. I Sorry. Also need, uh, titty tape. You need titty tape? Titty tape. Is it okay if I leave in my video? I was filming when you called me and you're like, I just saw the hottest guy. The hottest guy I have ever seen. Can I leave it in? Yeah. I'm I can leave here. it in? Yeah. Honestly, I hope he sees that video and knows exactly what I'm talking about. DMs you, it's like, oh my god, what's your friend's number? If you're watching this and you saw her at a red light on what street were you on? I don't remember because he was hot and I was distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Please DM her. Should we bring bars for snacks? I could bar out. <laughs> what? <laughs> you pick, I don't like protein bars. I don't either, why are we even doing this? I'm oh wait, I need toothpaste. I could probably use some toothpaste. This is why I can't go to fucking Target. I come in here and I'm like, yeah, I could use some of that. Oh, you know what? I could use some more shampoo and conditioner. Do I need it? No. Oh my God, I just knocked all of them over. I also need body wash. Why? You shower, that's weird. I wouldn't know anything about that. I know, Emma, but I'll teach you. <laughs> Every time I come to Target, I buy a razor. If I don't buy a razor when I'm at Target, I didn't come. <gasps> Wait, why do I want this tub of Aquaphor for just all over my body at all times? Literally every time I go to Target, I just fuck around. Okay, I feel like bobby pins could come in handy. Am I being crazy? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I kind of feel like fake lashes could be a move. You think? Absolutely not. It's just gonna melt off. No. No, I think it is good. I think they're gonna melt off of your eyes. So you think it's a bad idea? Have you ever put on false lashes? Yes, I used Yourself? To, yes. Point proven? You're Caught. not gonna use this. Yes, I will, yes, I will, yes, I will. This is crucial. Dude, there's so many sunscreen options and I don't know if I made the right decision. Oh my god! Wait, I literally need a pop socket for Coachella, I'm serious. Okay, get one. No, I'm kidding. Frank. No fucking way. Wait, Amanda, we need swim shoes. No, we don't. Uh. <laughs> I'm tired. 
I can't do that one. Okay, I'm tired. Fuck all that. That's it! I'm done preparing. I literally didn't think that this moment would ever come, but here it is. And I feel really good. I hope you enjoyed coming with me on my Coachella preparation journey. Coachella's a big fucking deal, right? That's it for today's video. I hope that you had fun. Wish me luck at Coachella this year. Hopefully all my work pays off. I guess we'll just have to see.